Hey guys, welcome back to Pulse of Barbecue. I appreciate you being here today at the grill. I'm gonna be making some amazing pineapple pork belly burnt ends, and these things are absolutely delicious. And so just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below for you. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, interviews. Other than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Pulse of Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at the grill, I'm gonna be cooking up some pork belly burnt ends. And this recipe today uh, is a request from one of my kids uh, who was just craving some pork belly burnt ends. And you know, I've done them in the past on the channel before, so are your basic barbecue burnt ends. And today I'm gonna be making some pineapple pork belly burnt ends because I really enjoy how pineapple and pork go together, much like Hawaiian pizza, a Canadian staple up here. If you don't like that combination, just scrap the pineapple, but I'm telling you, it's incredible. You're gonna love the way that these two come together really well. So, like I said, I have this five, six pound uh, piece of pork belly. It was a bit larger. I did cut off about uh, two pounds uh, that I'm gonna save to make some homemade bacon with. But to get started with this recipe, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the pork belly and I'm gonna cut it into about one to one and a half inch uh, cubes uh, because I want these pork belly burnt ends to be bite sized. And so that one to one and a half inch thickness is gonna be a great size because these will shrink down a little bit. There we go. And I did forget to mention that this pork belly has the skin removed and so there's none of that skin on there. So if you do have a skin on your pork belly, take a sharp knife and just slice it off because you don't want it on the meat for this recipe. Okay, I'm gonna get these cut into cubes. And this is sort of the size that I'm looking for, about one and a half inches. You can see there's a nice meat to fat ratio on there. And so that's going to be an ideal piece for a taste test. All right, with the pork belly all cubed up, this is where you get to start to start customizing the flavors that it's gonna go into the pork belly burnt ends. Uh, today, I want to add a little bit of spice, I wanna add a little bit of sweetness, and I want that fruitiness from uh, the pineapple. So for that heat, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of jalapeno lime uh, hot sauce to the outside. This is gonna be the binder that is gonna help my rub uh, stick to the pork belly burnt ends. And go ahead and use your favorite hot sauce uh, or olive oil, mustard. It doesn't really matter. This is gonna add a little bit of extra spice, which is gonna go great on these pork belly burnt ends. Just gonna to toss that around. There we go. And this is gonna add a little extra spice as well as a little extra flavor. And you know, the aroma that's coming off of the pork belly right now is phenomenal. Okay, they're not done yet. Let's add some seasoning to it. And today I'm gonna to be seasoning the pork belly uh, with my Pulse of Barbecue Original Rub. This stuff goes incredibly well on all things pork, uh, especially when it comes to uh, pork belly burnt ends and ribs and anything that you wanna add that little extra sweetness to. Let's continue to roll it around. All right, that looks good to me. And like I said, guys, this doesn't take a whole lot of time to prepare. We just cut them, uh, put that sauce on it in the barbecue rub, and that's it. If you wanna put these onto a wire rack, you can, and that just makes it a little bit easier going in and out of the grill. Uh, for me, I just throw them on the top grill grate, and that's all I need to do. And so today I'm gonna be cooking on the Camp Chef Woodman Pro Pellet Grill, and this has two racks. I'm gonna be starting on the top rack, and then when it comes time to braise, I'm gonna move it down to the bottom rack. I do have it set up for cooking around 265 degrees. And so with everything prepared, let's get the pork belly onto the grill. There we go. And notice how I'm giving them a little space uh, between each one, just so the smoke can kind of get all throughout and all around each piece. I'm gonna get that lid closed. And then the last thing I'm going to do, because this is the Woodman Pro, it has the smoke box on the front. I'm gonna grab uh, some wood chips and I'm gonna place those into that smoke box. Close it up. 
and this is gonna help add a ton of extra flavor to the burnt ends. And so I'm gonna let it smoke away for probably a couple hours and I'm gonna come back and take a look to make sure that that bark is set up nicely. And then we're gonna also get into the pineapple. All right, I'm an hour and 20 minutes into the cook and it's time to start working on the pineapple and get it chopped up and onto the grill because I want to smoke it a little bit before I put it into the foil uh, to braise with the, the pork belly burnt ends. And so what I have here is a pineapple. I picked this up a few days ago and it wasn't right, but then, you know, lo and behold, a recipe comes up and it's like, hey, this is great. So we're using this one today. So grab your knife and just slice the top. If you can't find fresh pineapple, uh, go ahead and you know, grab a can of pineapple, that will be fine as well. Because I am using fresh pineapple, I want those pieces to be uh, fairly large. Let's get the outside off. Then I'm gonna cut it right down the side, right along the core. Okay, so with our pineapple, I wanna have some large chunks and this is what I'm looking for. I want the pineapple to get a little bit of smoke on it, but also uh, in the braising process, I don't want them to shrink down and basically uh, just disappear. I wanna add a little bit of extra flavor to this. So I'm gonna take some brown sugar and just sprinkle that on. This is gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the pineapple, which is already a little bit sweet. There we go. And then I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit of my uh, barbecue rub. Just a little bit, mix that around. There we go. And just like before, I'm gonna place this onto the pellet grill, uh, but I'm gonna put them onto the bottom rack this time. Just grab those, throw them on. And since the lid's open, I am gonna spritz the pork belly, but just take a look at the color on that. You can see it's got uh, some nice mahogany color going on. That's just from the smoke and that extra smoke box that we uh, filled up with those chips. So I'm gonna quickly spritz everything to keep it hydrated. Here we go, we'll get that lid closed back up quickly. And I'm gonna to continue to cook uh, the pineapple to get some smoky flavor on it for probably another hour before we come back and pull the pork belly and the pineapple out uh, to put in a foil tray to begin the braising process. All right, I'm two and a half hours into this cook and it smells phenomenal. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the grill, take a look, and then we're gonna get them into our foil pan to begin the braising process. Oh guys, just look at that. You can see there's some great smoky flavor as well as that bark on the outside of the burnt ends is uh, forming really, really well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these into the foil pan quickly. There we go. I'm also just gonna move my top tray out of the way. go and I'm gonna grab all of that pineapple gonna get this lid closed back up and guys just take a look at this it looks phenomenal already and you know what I was saying about grilled or smoked pineapple is true you know it's delicious. If you've never done it, make sure to give it a try. Just do it on its own even, uh, cause it's that good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's sweet, it's smoky, it's so delicious. But you know, that's not what we're doing today. We're doing a pineapple burnt ends. And so to get the rest of this all prepared, what I have is about, you know, a third of a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna place that into the foil. And then I have uh, probably about a third of a cup of uh, butter again. You place that just over top. Kind of let that melt. And then to that I have some honey. I'm just going to uh, do a squeeze of this over top. 
and then just like to start to have that habanero lime hot sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on there. And then lastly, one cup of barbecue sauce. And go ahead and use your favorite barbecue sauce because this is yours. There we go, I'm just gonna mix this around. There we go. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is just going to place on some foil onto the top. And then I'm going to get it back onto the grill, just placing it right on the lower rack. And this is where it's going to braise and tenderize. You know, with pork belly burnt ends, you want them to be soft and tender. And that's going to be a temperature around 200 to 205 degrees. And so if it's anywhere below that, you want to just keep pushing the temperature a little bit more so that when it comes to the taste test or uh, eating these things with your friends and family, they're going to be soft and tender and absolutely delicious. So about an hour and a half, we'll come back and take a look at them just to make sure that they're good and done. My pork belly burnt ends have been cooking for about four hours and I think they should be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the grill and probe for tenderness just to make sure that they're good and tender. So let's open up the grill and take a look. Guys, these smell so good. You can really pick up the sweetness from the pineapple as well as those savory notes from the pork belly. And so let's just probe it for tenderness. Yeah, guys, these are all done and they're incredibly tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the foil from the top, give them a quick stir and then allow the sauce to set up just a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and we'll get ready for the taste test. Guys, I can't wait for the taste test on these. I only let the sauce set up for about five to seven minutes before I pull them off the grill and plated them up onto the cutting board. And the smell is unreal. You can really pick up the fruitiness from the pineapple as well as that savory uh, flavor from the pork belly. And they look and smell phenomenal. I can't wait. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a taste test and let's see this one or this one. Ooh, this one's calling my name. It's squid it's tender this is gonna be so delicious so let's go for the taste test mm -hmm. oh my goodness that's incredible that pineapple is killing it on this thing Wow mm-hmm mm. it's tender <laughs> it's incredible it's delicious really that was incredibly delicious on its own, but we can't forget about the pineapple. Uh, let's go for a taste this on this. First, it's floppy. You can see that it's absorbed a lot of the flavors from the pork belly. Here we go. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. That's great. Mmm. Oh, you can pick up that spice from the habanero. The sweetness. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. Guys, I know a lot of you have tried pork belly burnt ends before, but these pineapple pork belly burnt ends might just be one of the best versions I've had in a while. You know, I've made some pretty good ones over the years, uh, and this one is near the top for sure. It's got the sweetness, it's got the savory, it's got everything that you're looking for when it comes to a great pork belly burnt end. So I hope you give it a try because this is one of those recipes that you don't want to miss out on. I go for this guy right here. Mmm. -hmm. Those pineapple pork belly burnt ends are smoky, fruity, savory. They're absolutely delicious, and I know you're gonna love them for sure, so I hope you give them a try. Hey, if you wanna see more barbecue videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Also, special thank you to all my patrons and channel members for supporting this channel every single week. So until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.